This is San Diego News Daily. Good afternoon, I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your local top stories. President Biden is headed to the Los Angeles area as he continues his West Coast trip. Yesterday, he made a historic announcement at Naval Base Point Loma to provide Australia with nuclear-powered submarines. Here's a breakdown of that plan. The U.S. will sell three Virginia-class nuclear-powered submarines to Australia with the potential of selling two more. The U.S. will also share information about its nuclear propulsion technology and and beginning in the year 2027, the British and the American navies will establish a rotating presence of submarines in Australia. For the first time ever, it will mean three fleets of submarines working together across both the Atlantic and Pacific, keeping our oceans free, open and prosperous for decades to come. The AUKUS agreement we confirm here in San Diego represents the biggest single investment in Australia's defence capability in all of our history. And the years of training we're undertaking starting now will ensure that Australia is fully prepared to carry on this tradition and meet the highest possible standards of safety throughout the life of these boats. This new partnership is widely viewed as a way to counter China's military buildup in Asia. Governor Gavin Newsom is coming to San Diego this weekend as part of a statewide policy tour. That tour, which kicks off Thursday, will focus on a series of policy announcements. The policies are expected to target the homeless crisis, public safety, and health care costs. Then, when he's here in San Diego on Sunday, he's expected to focus on mental health care reform. The Board of Supervisors is voting on a new app that would connect homeless individuals with suitable shelter beds. NBC7's Nicole Gomez has details from the county administration building. The district attorney says this app would be the first of its kind in the entire nation. It's been years in the making and homeless advocates say it would be a game changer. Here's what the app could look like. It's modeled after a similar app the county created during the pandemic lockdown for domestic violence victims who needed to escape their abusers quickly. It cuts down on the time it takes to find suitable shelter from days to just minutes. And as the homeless crisis in San Diego continues to worsen, county leaders, along with homeless resource providers, came together last November to develop a real-time app that would list available beds for different needs. Someone with mental health issues or a drug addiction needs different resources than, say, a family with children or pets. This app would streamline all that data and information into one place while keeping confidentiality a priority. Why not have the latest opportunities like booking a hotel room available to us to address homelessness? Seems sort of like a no brainer and, and is, is really important. And when it's done correctly, a one stop shop of available shelter beds is an incredible tool. When someone asks for help, we need to be able to build trust and offer hope. This app will help with that. It will provide a tangible tool that all the service providers can use and know what's available and get people connected. The app needs about $300,000 in funding in order to move forward. So if given the green light today, it would need about six more months for full development and a pilot version could be available and in use by the end of this year. Reporting from the County Administration Building, Nicole Gomez, NBC7. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now for a look at the forecast. Hey, Monica, as we head through the day today, we're actually going to see the approach of all this rain that you see up to our north. This is a pretty warm storm system, so only high elevation snow in Northern California. As we head through the next few hours, we're going to see some very light spotty showers moving. So here's a look at future weather as we head through the afternoon. Light spotty showers, nothing heavy until overnight tonight. That's when the heavy rain moves in. You see the very gusty south wind into early Wednesday morning. Expect the rain around and then finally tapering off late tomorrow. We are learning more about the specific allegations against a National City teacher as she faced a judge for the first time. And a school board meeting gets heated in Oceanside as members decide the fate of Reynolds Elementary School. It's all coming up. Stay with us. Calling all morning people. The crack of dawn. A banana. Ready to get this day started, people. 
we have the team for you. Wake up with NBC7 News today, starting at 4.30. We were made for mornings. Keeping you in the know before anybody else is up. With accuracy you can't get anywhere else, no matter how early. Bringing you coverage you count on. Like only morning people can do. NBC7 News today, weekday mornings, starting at 4.30. This is San Diego News Daily. Good afternoon, I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. The Santee Sheriff's Department needs your help finding a man and a woman who have been breaking into cars around the county since October of 2021. They target vehicles at large events such as a cemetery for a funeral or community parks during kids sporting events. Officials say they stole victims credit cards and in one incident charged more than $8,000. They've been seen driving a white 2011 to 2014 Chevy Silverado with a black bed cover. A National City Elementary School student was just 12 years old when prosecutors say teacher Jacqueline Ma began an inappropriate relationship with him. Those new details were revealed yesterday as Ma pleaded not guilty during her first court appearance. Prosecutors said an investigation has also uncovered Ma and the boy communicated almost daily using apps designed to delete messages. They say Ma asked for sexual acts to be performed in those messages and sent photos of herself. The district attorney uh, filed 15 felony charges um, related to the defendant this week, um, related to lewd acts against a child as well as possession of child pornography. Everyone, everyone here in the good state of California is entitled to a competent defense. To this day, right now, Ms. Ma stands innocent before all of you until the prosecution can prove all those charges filed against her beyond a reasonable doubt. Ma is facing up to 29 years in prison if convicted on those current charges, but prosecutors say more charges could be added in the future. The judge denied bail. Ma is due back in court Thursday. Despite hours of emotional pleas from parents, the Oceanside School Board has voted to close Reynolds Elementary School. It will be shut down after this school year, after an engineer's report said the soil beneath the campus could be compromised in the event of a major earthquake. Students will now be spread out among the district's 10 other elementary schools. Parents are worried about the impact it could have on their kids. He's already still struggling with, you know, the anxiety and aftermath of the pandemic. Every single school in Los Angeles and Orange County are all built on liquefaction zones. There is mitigation. There is easier ways to do it. One board trustee voted against closing the school, saying the decision was rushed and not accessible to the 68% of Spanish-speaking families in the district since the engineer's report was only available in English. The board is now asking for parents' input on where to transfer their kids. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen will have a look at your weather right after this. Only one team in San Diego is certified most accurate. NBC7's First Alert Weather. What does that mean for you? Helping you plan ahead with our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And knowing exactly when rain will move in. First Alert Weather is coverage you count on. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. There's our storm. That'll be uh, starting to send us some light showers as we head through the afternoon, but most of that heavy rain will be here overnight tonight. So as we head through the next few hours, some light spotty showers will start to move through. Temperatures mid to low 60s for the coast and inland. Heavy rain overnight tonight and increasing wind. That's also going to be around tomorrow morning. So Wednesday morning's commute is going to be pretty messy. Heavy rain, gusty winds clearing later in the day. Dry Thursday, another chance this weekend. All right, we'll be following that for sure. As a way to highlight Women's History Month, Mayor Todd Gloria and the San Diego City Council just held a ceremony to honor the 2023 Women of Distinction. Ten influential well, local women were recognized for their leadership and accomplishments. This year's citywide honoree is TV journalist Sandra Moss. She's a board president of the Women's Museum of California and is also pushing for equal pay in the workplace. Today is also National Equal Pay Day. More coverage you count on at NBCSanDiego.com.